welcome back to another vlog. This is gonna be week two and three of my self-employment. Really week two, but I'm gonna combine it with week three because this entire week, if you guys have been catching up, it was my last week in Vancouver and I literally just landed yesterday. So I didn't get to vlog a lot of the errands because I was literally running around and I was really stressed out. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would have seen the extremely tragic packing stories. It is embarrassing just how bad at packing I am. At one point, my mom was like, you really need to learn how to pack or you need to date someone who knows how to pack. Fun fact, every single relationship I have ever been in, the guy has always packed for me. It's very embarrassing because that's just actually how terrible I am. My mom ended up helping me and saving me. But anyway, regardless, I am finally back in Toronto. As you guys can see from the background, this is the wall art of my apartment. If you guys haven't already, I will leave a link or a picture here for you guys to see the apartment tour. Now that I'm back and the second week of my self-employment, I'm going to be really doing a lot of foundational things this week. A lot of emails, a lot of meetings, but also I'm gonna be getting my apartment set up. So I'm gonna unpack, I'm gonna unbox a bunch of stuff Stuff. And on top of that, I'm going to probably have to switch my closet from winter to summer I'm actually gonna be selling some clothes So if you guys are ready for that, make sure you check out either my Poshmark or on my Instagram That's probably gonna be where I sell my stuff if you guys are interested So I finally got my packages this morning. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing So if you guys want to see the full unboxing video of all of these packages Please check out another YouTube video for the sake of the vlog I'm not gonna be unboxing all of this, but this is is pretty much a combination of kind of some packages that trickled in right when I was leaving Toronto to Vancouver I had some last-minute packages come in or some PR companies kind of forgot that I went to Vancouver for a bit or had my address wrong so they sent it here some of the things I ordered but I don't think I'm gonna be unboxing those for the sake of the other video it's only gonna be this unboxing but anyway today I am also going to be seeing Helen we are the only three girls that are single left in our group we used to have a ratio of 4v3, so four of us single girls and three taken girls, but then one girl flipped and got a boyfriend, so now there's only three single ones left. And it's really funny because every single time we meet up, the girls are like, can we bring our boys? And then we're literally just sitting there like, we'll just bring each other, we'll bring ourselves. But anyway, in Toronto, if you live alone, as I do, like I live by myself, and Helen, who also lives alone, and you can combine houses and stuff like that. So me and Helen are gonna meet up tonight, and she also bought a new apartment, so I can't wait to show you guys me and Helen hanging out, cause I mean, I don't really know what we're gonna do, but whatever. For the rest of the weekend, I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog because like I said, I think I'm just gonna be running around, but maybe I'll vlog, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hi, okay, I just got to Helen, say hi. And we got some real fruit bubble tea and I also brought over some vodka and we're gonna make adult bubble tea. <laughs> Also, if you haven't tried real fruit, it's super good because they have like real mangoes that get splendid. Anyway, this is Helen's new apartment that she bought. So congratulations. It's so nice. Look. Hello guys, today is another day. I don't even know what day it is. So basically in the last few days, ever since I got to Toronto, besides like the one or two days I hung out with my friends, honestly, I got so sick with the stomach flu because I don't actually know. I think I ate something really bad. It was kind of shitty because first of all, it like put my productivity all the way behind and I wanted to vlog a lot of things, but for the sake of time, I just like could not. Also, I was like, dying for two days. I'm also trying to do a liver cleanse because basically a while ago I went to see a natural path and a lot of the things that I was experiencing in terms of like a health issue, he thinks it's because I have an overactive liver. So he suggested that I go on like a three day liver cleanse or sorry, not three day. Oh my God three week. So it's not just like a healthy diet because there are some healthy foods that are actually off limits. For example, like bananas. So this is very different than just like a healthy diet, but I'm gonna try it because I really want to see if my body can feel better. And then I'll slowly start incorporate those foods back into my body. I will also leave a list of foods that he has given me that I can or cannot eat. And you guys can pause if you are also interested. Anyway, so I went to Farm Boy and I 
I picked up a few things. Finally, this was my first grocery shop after being here for almost one week. Let's get to it. So in the first bag, I got a lot of fruits. I also got a lot of lemons. I got this for five bucks for the entire bag, but I'm gonna start drinking all my water with lemons. Yeah, this is pretty much my fruit bag. If you guys watch my previous vlogs, actually this would be one of the very, very much earlier vlogs. I talked about how like I pack my groceries at the grocery store pretty optimally. So by the time I get home, it's actually easy for me to pack them away. So that was my fruit one. So I got a sweet potato here. My favorite fall vegetable is a sweet potato. I got inspired because I got the salad a while ago. I'll also leave a picture here. It was by Imperfect Eats in Toronto. They put sweet potato in the salad and it was so good that I decided to recreate my own. I got some oranges. I also got some blueberries. Blueberries, blueberries. <laughs> And I got some olives that were on sale and I really like olives. The second bag that I have is kind of more produce. So I got some chicken thighs. I got my kind of like spring mix. It's kind of small to be honest, because this is from Farm Boy. I got green onions. I got some avocado. Avocados are my favorite. Cauliflower, because I actually love, love, love cauliflower. Like if you just bake cauliflower at 400 degrees for like 30 minutes with just like simple salt and pepper it is amazing and then i also got some like all natural peanut butter and jam because i actually do want to have peanut butter and jam i just don't want the preservatives that come with it i don't know if this is actually appropriate for my diet i feel like it kind of is i don't think i can eat peanut but this one's all natural with no preservatives so i think it should be okay besides the peanut part so i will not be eating it but at least moving forward it will be healthy because it has no preservatives the last bag is really why I went to Foreign Boy because all of these other things, obviously you can get them at any grocery store, but I was really trying to get healthier... I guess ingredient stuff. So I wanted to go to Farm Boy. They were having a sale on Oatly. I heard so much about Oatly. So it's two for $10 and I'm very excited because I have to cut out dairy out of my diet. I'm gonna switch over to Oatly. I also got two salad dressings. So I got balsamic vinegar. My mom makes really amazing salad and always has balsamic vinegar. So I wanted to get that. Next one is Honey Dijon. I also checked the ingredient list. I think everything there is acceptable for me to have. And then the last one is strawberry jam. It says preserve with champagne. So I am hoping that this means that there's no added preservatives because I paid like really high markup for this. Actually, yeah, that's it. So that's pretty much my haul. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys about that I did was basically within my cleaning, I also cleaned out my entire closet. This was the video I wanted to do separately for like a closet clean out and kind of like document my journey. But because of the whole flu, not actually like coronavirus. Because of the whole like stomach flu situation, I was just in such a panic that I wanted to get it done over like really, really quickly. But I really like got rid of four boxes of clothing. I am trying to determine where I'm gonna post this stuff, but it's probably gonna be either on Poshmark. I will leave a link down below for you guys to follow me or on my Instagram. I have a separate shopping Instagram for you guys to follow me as well. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my clothes and live a little bit more minimally. Make sure you check those out if you wanna buy some stuff from me. But yes, I. I think that's pretty much it for now and then I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome to another day. So today is a Sunday and today I am seeing my friends for the first time. These are all the girls that I worked with at Bell, and yeah, I'm just like super excited to see them because we haven't seen each other for over a year. So we're just actually hanging out at my friend's outside patio. She has a huge, huge, huge terrace. So we're all outdoors. I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like. Say hi guys. Oh my god, look at this patio furniture, it's huge! And then there's like a nice view of the sea tower right there. But anyway, yesterday I actually went to Trinity Bellwoods for the very first time, but because I was biking and I had so much stuff with me, I wasn't able to bring my camera. So I'm just gonna leave a picture. So if you guys are not from Toronto and don't know what Trinity Bellwoods is, it's basically a park that's in this really prominent area in Toronto and it has kind of like a bad reputation because it's just like known to be so crowded and it's one of the most popular parks out there. But even like yesterday when I went, it was crazy because 
people were just so not used to going out anymore. Everyone was so dressed up. I like showed up with my bike gear and I was like, oh my God, I feel so insecure because everyone was dressed like they were going to Coachella or something just to maintain social distancing because once again, like this park had originally like a really bad reputation because when it first opened and people were going, it was like unregulated, but now it's filled with like white circles. So it keeps people in their bubbles and you have to like stay within your circle. But I was saying that because yesterday I was like all geared up with my bike helmet, my friends actually like made fun of my helmet. I'll take a picture and show you guys what my helmet looks like, but it honestly looks super manly and very, very, very athletic. I don't know, when I bike, I just like don't really care that much about fashion. I'm more about comfort and utility and use and stuff like that. Because of that, I warned all my friends today that I'm going to be overdressing because I got late yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing this dress from Zara and even the shoes are from Zara. I will take a picture. And my mask here is from Revolve and it comes with this chain. So it makes it super convenient. So I don't have to put it in my pocket or like hold it or whatever. Yeah, it's just like super nice. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to you guys in a bit and yeah. Our little yeah. setup. I think we're having a little photo shoot <laughs> oh, yeah, with the cops the donuts. Do you wanna say hi? Hi. Also, it was Victoria and Nancy's birthday. So happy Yay. belated. Thank you. Oh my God, the donuts look so good. I've like heard so many good things about it. Hi guys, happy Monday. So today I'm actually going to pick up my car. I have my lovely neighbor here, Terry. Say hi. Hey everybody. He is driving me to go pick up my car. Also, also, fun fact, as you guys know, well, if you didn't, I am Taiwanese and so is Terry. His Chinese is like significantly worse than mine. <laughs> so we've been practicing some Chinese. I always make fun of him because he's old. So I call him grandpa, like literally like Agong. Terry Agong. Terry Agong. And then he calls me- Lisa <laughs> So if anyone speaks Mandarin here, this is what's happening right now. We've been trying to converse in Mandarin. Like I was telling him how I was not sleeping well last night. I was like, Lisa, I Yes. Yeah, you are bad at Chinese. One of my good friends also, she's from Montreal and I met her on like an exchange program through Air Cadets and she came to visit me one time and Terry being Terry like stopped by. So I was like, yo, do you want to hang out with us? So he hangs out with us and now we're just like a thing now. The three of us are just like our own little Taiwanese group because she's also Taiwanese. It's great because every time she's over, we just like kind of bully Terry. <laughs> it's my favorite for For being old. <laughs> Okay, which is another thing. Our renovator, God bless him, he like tells me so much about you. Okay, guys, if you are watching this, how old do you think Terry is? Please leave in the comment section down below because basically I thought Terry was, I'm not gonna reveal it, but I'm just gonna say I thought he was extremely young because this guy looks extremely young. Asians don't raise in, you know? Then my renovator was like, oh, Terry turns whatever this year. <laughs> and I remember thinking, I was like, you're high. Like, there's no way. Like, there's literally no way. He's like, no, I promise you. I think like whenever he was over and I was like conversing with him, if we ever brought you up or whatever, he would tell me about like your job, how you're always traveling, your girlfriend at the time, your age. Why would age even come up? Like, he would have to really go far. Oh, by the way, did you know Terry's just cut the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have ever brought it up myself because I was like pretty sure I was correct at your age too. So then Tom was like, oh, Terry's turning like X years old. And I was like, what? Like, there's no way. And I literally thought Tom was lying. So then I confronted Terry and I was like, Terry, how old are you? Which is probably like rude to us. But we, we're past that point now, okay? Well, we weren't at, the, at that time. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa? <laughs> What are you again? Lisa. Okay, good. It's like, who's this bitch asking me my age? What's her name again? Have you thought that maybe because I'm so intrusive that this is how we're like best friends? Perhaps. <laughs> I have showed him a quite a few times on Instagram. Every single time you guys like click into his name, it's like insane. I don't know if like people are just nosy. I don't know, like people think we're dating or something. Like, I don't know what it is or because you're a dude, like people 
to click into your name. By the end, probably like over a thousand people. Am I the most? Phone. When you tag somebody, am I like the most amount of clicks? Or am I like in the top three? Well, I did post my ex one time, yeah. so I think he probably surpassed you just because it's like click me. Also, I apologize for the camera angle. It's genuinely because Terry has also a Tesla, but he has a Model S. The counter thing here is so much higher, so we can't put it in like the location you guys are used to. I had to find like a lower area in his space. So I guess it's good that I didn't buy the Model S or else I would not be able to do driveaways. Also, a lot of people have asked me like on Instagram how we met because they're just like, how did you meet your neighbor? Like, how did you guys become so close? Because we don't actually live on the same floor. Mm, yeah. Our building is like really, really large. We've like sectioned off the building like quite a bit. Basically, like he lives on the other side of the building. But how I met him was as follows. Number one, I stole his renovator. Stole. It added two weeks. I stole his renovator. If you guys watched my apartment <laughs> tour and how I like renovated it. So how I found his renovator was one day I was just like walking towards the concierge. This was during a time when I was looking for a renovator. And I see this man who's like carrying a trolley with all these like tools. So I literally go up to the guy and I'm like, hey, are you a renovator? Are you a contractor or whatever? And then he's like, yeah. So I asked him if he could give me a quote on my place. So he literally like popped over to my place, looked at it, gave me a quote. Everything he was saying was just like super aligned with what I was looking for. And it was also cheaper than anyone else I've like had talked to quotes from. The best part was he stopped doing what he was doing at my place immediately. <laughs> that was the best part. That's my favorite oh part my of the story. God. I'm actually dying. I asked the contractor if he had like a previous client so I could call and ask about his work and like testimony. So he gives me Terry's number. So then I call Terry and I'm like, hey, I just want to know like if you like his work, like if he's good, blah, blah, blah. And then Terry's like vouching for him. And Terry was being really nice because I was like also saying how this is my first time doing renovations myself. And then he's like, yeah, why don't you come over and I can show you like where I got all my supplies, where you can get like a faucet, like tiles. So I'm like, okay. Also low key, I don't think I've ever told you this. So I'm telling you this for the first time on camera. Tom had already showed me your place. What? See? That's creepy. When I was like, what have you done in the building? He's like, why don't I just show you? So he why do I just? <laughs> <laughs> so he shows me your place. Yeah, I feel like he ain't telling you that because we're like besties. At least you're my bestie. <laughs> he has his own bestie in yeah. the building. Like it's so rude. He shows me your place, and then by the time I come over for me to look at your place, I had to pretend to be shocked that I was seeing it for the first time. Oh my god, your place is so nice. How are my acting skills? Clearly pretty good if he like had no idea. I'm at Terry's place for the second time, but to his knowledge for the first time. <laughs> when he opens the door, and I saw Terry's face, I was like, oh my God, this guy looks so familiar. But because we live in the same building, I was like, I've probably seen him in the elevator. That's probably why he looks familiar. As we got to talking, like we were talking about like our jobs or something. And he was like telling me how he works at Samsung. I was like, oh my God, I know one person that just quit my company to go to Samsung. And then he's like, who is it? And I was kind of like, there's no way you would know this person. Samsung's a huge company. He's like a lot older. So I was like, the person that I know is like not even close to your level. I was just like, whatever. I'm just going to say the name, but he probably doesn't know it. You were just like, oh my God, I know him. Basically, we pieced together that he actually used to work at the same company. And then that's how he knew all these people. And then it clicked to me why this man looks familiar because we had a summer party like a while ago. This guy crashed our summer party. And you're like, who's that handsome guy? I was kind of just like, who is this bitch who's here who's what? not even on our team? And now I have one less drink to drink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Basically, I was just like, oh my god, this is why I recognize him because he was at our summer party. That is how I pieced it together. But I don't think I told you this like right away. No, I think we both realized we saw each other at the party. Yeah. So how do we become close? Because I feel like when I met you, obviously. You stole my car party. We just like got really close like over the years. And now he's my best friend, but he has his own best friend. Lisa's work here way up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really working for it right here. Anyway, so now we are in the process of going all the way to Scarborough to pick up my car. And then what are we doing after? Oh, we're picking up croissants. croissants. 
coffee and croissants. Coffee and, oh, thank God. So there you have it. This is Terry, and I'm sure you guys are gonna see him much, much, much more in time to come. So there's your official introduction. Look at all these cars. Okay, we are on our way to pick it up. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Yeah, I was just gonna say, just hop your horn over. I see my sticker. Oh my God. Look, the I'm probably not driving sticker. I was like, oh my god, there's my bumper sticker which says I'm probably not driving and he's like, that is not safe. Like, what a grandpa thing to say. So, this is Sadie. This is Terry's car. So, Sadie, meet Tay Tay. Oh my god. She's here. I'm so excited. Hello, guys. Okay, as you guys can see, I am currently in Tay. If you guys didn't know, this is what I decided to name her. Short for Liberté. Basically, Liberté is the French word for freedom. I don't know if I actually ever explained on YouTube, but basically, I wanted to name her Freedom because when I got out of a really, really tough relationship, which I'm sure a lot of you know about from the podcast, and I just felt constantly like I was like trapped, I guess. This is kind of just the sense of freedom, being able to go anywhere, do anything I want, and then buying a vehicle for me was such a huge sense of being able to just do whatever the fuck I want and go wherever the fuck I want. So I wanted to name her after kind of like a meaning of freedom, but then Liberté seemed a little like pretentious and also so like pretty long. Basically, I decided to just shorten it and name her Tay, just the last two letters. So it is still pretentious because it's basically T with an E X on Tegu, you know what I mean? The little French Canadian I am. I'm just kidding, I'm not French Canadian. It's also very fitting because my favorite artist is Taylor Swift, so Tay, I don't know. It just all happens for a reason, you know? Right now, thanks to Terry, Terry drove me to pick up my car. Terry and I are actually gonna go now to Supercharger to charge both of our cars because unfortunately, we do not have a charger within our building, which is why I also got long range because I knew I needed to last a little bit longer. This is actually gonna be my very, very first supercharging experience. I'm so excited. I know I should save it for like an occasion, but for the sake of today, I just thought I would use it. And also because when I first purchased the car, I got free 1,000 kilometers for free in supercharging. By the way, if you also want 1,000 kilometers for free, I do have a promo code at the bottom so you guys can use it as well. So you can also get 1,000 free kilometers. The only thing about the free kilometers is that it expires. Obviously, I haven't done many road trips because of the panorama that we have for me i'm just kind of like i should probably use it today anyway just in case i don't use up all 1000 in the next few months actually oh my god is it already expired i don't know okay fuck it if it's expired i will literally just have to pay we are going to our first supercharger so this supercharger location is actually near fairview mall i purposely picked this location for me and terry because you know it i am so true to myself there's a bakery at fairview mall called michelle m-i-c-h-e-l they have the best almond croissant and this is the bakery that started the whole almond croissant fiasco. I know my whole almond croissant journey was like in Vancouver. This is the almond croissant that got me to like get addicted to almond croissant and I was like oh shit like this is pretty good. I had like cravings for almond croissants once I got to Vancouver but this is the bakery. I am praying to the lords, the spirits, the gods of the world that this bakery is open. I know I can call, but at this point, I also need to supercharge, so I don't really care. We'll just find out if I get there, whether or not it is open. I am really praying that it is open. Girl has not had an almond croissant in so long. So anyway, I feel like I'm such a mess in this video, but okay, whatever. Also, I feel like a lot of people are going to ask me about this top. I got this top at Aritzia, so just wanted to say that out there before I get hounded with questions again. So... So we are here now. We are at the Fairview Mall Superchargers. Terry is my supercharging buddy. I got here and then I realized, I was like, um, I've never supercharged in my life, so I don't know how to do this. 
got it. So supercharging is actually really easy. You literally just plug it in. And I know everyone's like, well, what else did you expect? The only reason why I thought it was going to be harder was because I was trying to use up my miles. So I wasn't sure if I could choose to use it or pay. Oh my God. See, this is what I mean. They're making me pay for it right now. Hold on. That's the bakery and it's closed. And I was looking on Google map and I think it's just closed because of COVID. Like not because we're here at like 9.50 and the mall opens at 10. Well, the mall is not open, but you know, yeah. Damn it. Hi everyone. Today is Wednesday and I am going to see my best friend Liz today. So since I'm back in Toronto, I'll do a really quick introduction again. If you guys have been watching my other vlogs, Liz is a person who came to Vancouver and we went to Bowen Island with her and we went to catch some crabs. That was a super fun vlog. So if you guys haven't seen that, you should totally see it. And also it'll give you some ideas if you ever want to go to Vancouver. So you guys can check out that vlog. She is also the person in the vlog where I was getting my Invisalign and I told you guys that she actually applied me to The Bachelor but then I told her I couldn't go on The Bachelor because I have Invisaligns this year so maybe after Invisaligns okay I'm just kidding I don't think I would be good on The Bachelor because like I said I think I'm too easily annoyed anyway so that's Liz. She's the biggest Bachelor fan. So the other update with her is that she actually recently, unfortunately, got diagnosed with cancer. She has stage four lymphoma. It's been a pretty hard topic to talk about because I get really emotional about it. She kind of gave me her permission to talk about it because number one, she is launching a podcast with her boyfriend, David. He is so amazing. I feel like on our podcast for sisters you've never had we talk about all these like shitty boys or just like red flags and stuff If you guys are looking for a good example of a couple who is just kind of like through it thick and thin They're honestly one of my biggest role models in looking for my own partner because he's just so amazing to Liz and obviously Liz to David as well They're just so supportive of each other. They're just really ultimate couple goals So if you guys are looking for that kind of like example for a couple that's super strong and kind of going through it all in episode one of their podcast which I will also leave at the bottom they talk about kind of their journey with her finding out about her cancer how they kind of deal with it as a couple so that's super inspiring anyway so today I finally wanted to go see Liz because it's been two weeks after my first dose so I feel pretty safe she's also double dosed because since she has lymphoma her immune system is a little bit weaker so she is one of the priority people to get both doses so I feel more comfortable now to see her and I want to be able to kind of like drive her around I don't know just like hang out with her bring her energy up etc be there for her she's been there for me through thick and thin just like an example of how great of a friend she is like right after the breakup and before I went to Vancouver she used to drive her car from Mississauga all the way to downtown Toronto once a week to spend time with me just to make sure I'm okay and I'm not super lonely living alone post breakup during a pandemic now that I have my car too I'm gonna be making the drive more often to go and see her hang out with her and just be there for her and just kind of show up whenever she needs it since I don't have an official corporate job anymore but anyway I'm super excited to take you guys along today because I think Liz wants to do some water painting at least that's what she told me on the phone and then we'll also kind of see what else we can I don't know like do eat whatever explore but that's kind of today and I'm excited to bring you around so we are currently at Liz's and this is so cute we are actually gonna have a little water paint day it's so funny because earlier I had this like standing up and Liz was like um is that is that how you're gonna paint it and I was like oh wait you're right because then the watercolors are just gonna drip down so we're gonna do this <laughs> honestly disclaimer you guys I am terrible at art so Good luck to me. This is not my forte. So if you guys see like a troll on here, that's why. This is our picture. This is Liz. She set everything up. Say hi. hi. We are gonna attempt to draw this. Okay, so I googled beginner and it kind of looks easy, but then I'm now looking at all the little like intricate designs. I'm like, okay, wait, maybe this is not that beginner. <laughs> oh, well, yellow. Hi guys. So today is Monday and we it is the first bachelorette Monday, so I am going to Helen's 
desk. If you guys don't know who they are, basically they've actually been in my vlog many, many times from the Vancouver vlog where we went to Tofino and also toured around Vancouver. Even yesterday, actually yesterday and the day before, oh my God. We had a kind of like a sleepover at Helen's house. So just to give you context, we all live alone downtown. So we're super lonely. So we just kind of like have each other. We don't really have roommates. Except for Steph, who her roommate is her boyfriend. So that doesn't really count. He's a dude. He's a dude. We all live alone. We had a sleepover because we're just so clingy. I'll kind of share the footage because this entire weekend, like I don't know what is wrong with me. I just did not bring the battery to my camera. Like I literally had one job. So I couldn't film our slumber party for you, but I'll kind of like insert pictures. So we are having a slumber party. She was so on time. I was so on time. In fact, I actually had a romper that I was wearing and I kept on getting so many DMs about it, but it was actually just like a pair of Aritzia shorts with like this tank top that I've always had. So I was like so proud because I'm like, oh my God, people actually thought it was a romper even though I just like pieced it together. So I also went to Burlington for the first time once again because I slept over. I didn't have the battery to like bring over to film everything. But basically I went to Burlington for the first time because one of my really good friends, her name is Kelly. She actually lives in Burlington. I went to visit her. We had like this outdoor picnic and she also helped me take a couple of pictures for work because I can say that now. Burlington was just so beautiful like I'm so glad I have a car and I can be able to like see this then on Sunday we went over to oh who is that should I meet you in P4 or do you want to come in okay do you ask for your number what's happening I'm recording a song right now can I get a sample you can say anything you want <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so awkward. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand, but what, what does he want you to say? I, I don't know. I'm like, how's it going? <laughs> I'm so confused. He didn't even ask you to sing? No. I'm like, I'm not going to sing. So. Hi everyone, C Steph. I was just telling the vlog about yesterday and how we went to Woodbine Beach. Yes, so fun. It was such a nice day. There was not a single cloud in the sky and we were able to find parking pretty quickly. So when we found the parking like really quickly, cause knowing my luck, right? And I was like, I'm never this lucky. So when we found the parking, I was like, <laughs> that's odd. That's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. So when that thing happened to Helen and me, I was like, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Long story short, Helen and I were waiting for this bathroom. And then once we got to the front, the door was locked because it was closed for cleaning. Then we decided to go to the boys' bathroom. The second we left the line, the doors opened up again. And then basically everyone flooded into the girls' washroom. Then we had to re-line up, even though we were literally next in line for a clean bathroom. We were literally shook. It's fine because I did not get a parking ticket or pay for parking, so. We almost did though. We were walking back and like the entire row of cars had a yellow parking ticket. So the entire time walking back, we were so anxious, like, please. I was like, we already paid our dues, like with the washroom incident, so. But yeah, okay, so we're watching The Bachelorette. I actually thought it was The Bachelor because that's what Helen said. I know, I always just call it The Bachelor, but but it's actually The, the Bachelorette. Bachelorette. Which is better. I prefer The Bachelorette. Who's the girl? Um, Katie? She's like very pro-feminism. Oh, that's good. Very like, very cool girl. We're here for The Bachelorette. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I look like such a tourist. Oh wait, we can walk. Okay, look at how dead the city is because like nothing is open. It's Jordan! Hi! I'm vlogging! Say hi! Look at who else I ran into. Say hi! I'm literally running into like everybody on the street. Oh my god. Okay, this is our favorite popcorn in the world. Was it all of our first times when you yeah. pulled it up? Okay, yeah. no wonder. We were like obsessed once That's we started eating. And then we got some pretzels and we're gonna watch The Bachelorette. 